Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So today I will be showing you guys how I make artisan bread. This bread is relatively very easy to make and you can make it with ingredients you already have at home and you don't need any fancy equipment. So just a little disclaimer, I am not a professional baker. I bake as a hobby um, and I just started doing this. So I'm just sharing my journey with you and how I, you know, prep and do stuff may not necessarily be the best way but this is how I do it um, so just wanted to put that out there so this bread is very easy to make you only need four ingredients you need all-purpose flour you need active yeast and salt and some warm water so if you pick up your yeast container it will tell you instructions for water temperature and it recommends 120 to 130 to add with dry ingredients. I found with this bread it's better if it's around 120 to 122. So once you put in your water, you mix it with a wooden spoon. If it's too hard for you to mix with a wooden spoon, you can go ahead and use your clean hands until you don't see any more dry flour. Next up is covering your bread dough with plastic wrap and let it sit at least eight hours or overnight. I let mine sit overnight. After your bread dough has sat on the counter for at least eight hours, it's time for you to start firming your bread dough. So this recipe is enough for two bread loaves, so you have to split your bread dough into two. So we're going to form one bread loaf at a time. So you want to make sure your hands are clean and you flour your surface generously and also put some flour on your hands. This bread dough is very, very sticky. So um, you just want to work your dough in circular motions and try not to grab onto the dough so it doesn't, your fingers or your hands don't stick to it. So you want to use quick, gentle circular motions to form your bread dough into a ball. Once you form your ball, put your bread dough onto a bowl that has been lined with parchment paper so your bread dough doesn't stick to the container and you can easily transfer it when you're baking. Repeat the same steps with the next loaf. Once you're done forming your loaves, Preheat your oven to 450 degrees F. Place your bread dough on the stove. The heat from the oven will help your bread dough with the second rise. Also, place your Dutch oven in the oven for about 30 minutes before you move on to the next step. So after your Dutch oven has been in the oven for 30 minutes, place your first bread loaf or dough in the Dutch oven put the lid back on and put it in the oven. Bake the bread in the Dutch oven for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, take the Dutch oven out of the oven and remove the first bread loaf and put it on a baking sheet and put the second loaf in the Dutch oven and put the lid back on. The bread loaf on the baking dish should be in the oven for another 15 minutes while the second one should be in the oven for 30 minutes, like the first one. After 15 minutes, take your first bread loaf out of the oven and this is what it should look like. And for the second one, since we don't need to reuse the Dutch oven, I just took the lid off and put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes. After the second bake with the lid off, take the Dutch oven out of the oven. And this is what your bread should look like. If you don't have a Dutch oven, please don't feel like you need to get one. I bake this bread on a baking sheet and this is what my results look like. It may not look as fancy as the other one, but trust me, it was as delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm just sharing my baking journey with you guys. I have a lot more baking videos coming um, and here are some examples of other breads that I've baked. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye guys.